Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo as we're watching the Thyla Poop. I'm sorry about that. I uh, should probably reshoot that, but nope, I'm going with it. We're rolling with the poop. All right, so uh, have you ever been down in the ocean way down below and you're like, hey, there's a whole new world down here. You know, this place is great. You know, it's a little freaky, but you know, it's kind of cool. I'm kind of digging it. And then all of a sudden, you see a big, huge shadow in the distance. You're like, okay, that could be good or bad. And then all of a sudden, the shadow comes towards you. You see a bunch of big teeth, and then you're dead. And then you're going, yep, that was bad. Yeah, today we're talking about the Mosa. Yeah, those big dudes way, way down below. This has been a requested video for a long time. So you know what? We're doing it, and we're doing it right. All right, so... um. There's a couple different ways that you can tame a, a Mosa. Now, I want to preface this. Mosa is not a basic tame. It is not a beginner tame. It is not an intermediate tame. It is an end game tame. All right. So if uh, you think you're going to hop on the um, hop on arc and then be like, oh, hey, I've just tamed up a pack of raptors. Let's go tame a Mosa. You're not anywhere near there. No, no. Rethink that decision and then go, you know, do some more things and then come back later. That's kind of what you need to do when it comes to the Mosa. Because the Mosa, they're not easy. They're not cheap. Um, you have to have a lot of resources and you have to be very prepared for it. So, this is what you need to be prepared for. It. Now, uh, there's a couple different ways of actually taming Mosas that require... That um, uh, does, you know, where you uh, kind of trick their AI and stuff like that. And I'll briefly talk a little bit about that. But I'm not going to be uh, discussing too much of that. Because, frankly, I don't agree with those taming methods. I think it, it, as long as the most it can hit you back, then you're doing a good job. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right. So, uh, we're going to be dealing with those kind of taming tactics. So, what we're going to need. Um, first off, we're going to need a taming trap. Now, our taming trap is easy. It's just behemoth stone gates. So, we're going with that. Um... And then we need two reinforced uh, behemoth gateways so where we can block off its entrance. We're going to need a bunch of uh, um, scuba tanks. And I would recommend you have a bunch of scuba tanks. You have ones on backup. All right. Um, if you have tech gear, use that because that stuff is amazing. It it works really, really well underwater. And you're kind of going to want to go with it. All right. We're also going to be using... Uh, the big crossbows today. If you're at the stage where you get a Mosa, you've already gotten quite a few crossbows out of loot drops. Yeah, uh, so I'm going with them. I've got a 47.0 and a 47.1. I'm using them both, right? And you're going to want to make sure you take both because these guys, they can really hold their tranks. Just so you know, they can really hold their tranks, All right? You're going to need, uh, matter of fact, I forgot. Um, wait, I grabbed the wrong cable. Hold on, hold on. All right. Now, these guys right here, they don't take... Uh, the top amount of kibble, which is weird. I think they really should. They take this kind of kibble, the yellow kibble. They take exceptional. So, uh, yeah. Also, make sure that uh, um, you have a sea creature. We're, I'm going to be using partly this. Mostly, I'm going to be using a, uh, um, oh, a shark. So, we're going to be using a megalodon for that. But this one right here, I'm going to be using this to get around and go uh, see if, where we can spot one. And then, uh, from there, we're pretty much... You know, most of this stuff, we can just leave here. You know what? Let's just... Yeah, we'll just leave most of this stuff here. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, we could use that. I'm gonna... We don't need any of this land-based stuff, so you guys... Wait, you have a thyla inside of a thyla? Ah, <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, give me that back. I want him. Just in case we see an alpha. All right. Uh, so other than that, this... This is actually... Yeah... It's a bit intimidating, especially the first time, but after you get, uh, you know, your first one tamed, you'll be like, oh, that's not so hard. But, you know, it's just getting that first one done. All right, so today we're going to be getting the first one done, and then, uh, yeah, all right. So, hey, I will meet you guys down under the water. Also, you're going to need narcotics. Did I mention narcotics? Um, either narcotics or biotoxin, one of the two, which is another reason why we also brought uh, um, sea pickle, because I prefer using uh, um, biotoxin. For ones like this because it's just a lot easier so yeah 
All right, so now when coming out here looking for a Mosa, um, there's a couple different spots that are real big hot spots for Mosas. And here, I'll show you on the map here in a sec. I just want to make sure I'm safe before I open that up. All right. So, all right, uh, let's see. Um, let me open up the tab. And right around here is a really big hot spot for a Mosa. Right over here along this shelf, there's always like one to two over here. And then over here, there's a couple spots that are uh, pretty big. Also, Tuso's spawn over here as well. And then up here around here, generally over here is a couple uh, good spots for a Mosa. And then right over here, right on the outside of this cave over here is a really good spot for a Mosa. So pretty much this southern bit right here and then up here around here. Usually you can find Mosas around there. That is if you're looking. All right, so now let's get our butt over. Let's go see if we can... Oh, hey, shark. Later, shark. All right, let's go see if we can go find ourselves a Mosa. All right, so I found one. He's way over here in the distance and he's only level 40, but still a level 40 Mosa, they will waste you right quick. All right, so now... Uh, what you want to do is kind of just find a nice flat little bit of land. All right, so we're going to come down here. Make sure there's no uh, Snyderi around it. And if there is, that's also why we brought our Basilosaurus. All right, so now we take these and we put these on our hotbar. Just like this. All right, he's still just up there just kind of just piecing out. All right, so we're going to let him piece out and do his thing. All right, so get like this. We find a straight line. We just go... Bam. And just swim through it. And pretty much just every other one. Because remember, Moses are big. Alright. And then all you have to do when it comes to uh, making the trap... Put one door in, you put the other door on your hotbar, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. But yeah, just make sure that your dude can swim out the side. But yeah, um, see how it's it's pretty much just like every other one. Most of us are big dudes, so yeah. And we're not leaving, we're not putting this back door on because we don't want to have to close said back door. And I think I'm probably gonna have to kill those tonight areas. Let me do that really quick. And that's why I brought a sea pickle. Because everybody likes a sea pickle. And sea pickles are very, very handy. Can sea pickle actually get through this? Yeah, sea pickle can get through it. Alright, we're gonna use sea pickle to lure him in. Because sea pickle can take a lot more beating than Nessie here. Alright, so let's go like this. Go get these guys out of the way, and then go lure the dude, uh, lure the dude in. Right, so now what we're doing, we're just going up to him, and we're just saying hi. Hi, dude, how you doing? All right, now we're just going to kind of slowly lure him down, and see how hard this guy's hitting? He's actually hitting pretty dang hard. And we're just going to try to make sure he gets going in a straight line following us. Come on, dude. All right, and it's very important that he goes in a straight line. Because he'll try to worm his way back and forth because that's... See, there he goes. Alright, so now we're going to have to back this up and get going back. Come on, dude. See, because Moses, they don't move in a straight line. They zigzag. So it's very, very important. When you're lining up your Mosa, just like Grandma used to say, always make sure that you go in a straight line. All right? Grandmothers used to say that, I swear. All right. Get him over here. Get him inside. Once he's inside, we come out like this. And the reason why we put this down like this, where we can put that like that, and he just can't get out. See? Now Mosa is trapped. Super, super easy. Super, super simple. All right. And now we just, uh... Make sure that we're clear and a little bit, a little ways away from him. Now we can just pop up like this. And start shooting him. Uh oh, we got problems. Uh 
But also with a trap like this, you want to make sure you never ever leave your Mosa while it's awake out of render because he will pop out of that uh, cage. Yeah, take off Mr. Anglerfish. Nobody likes you anyway. Oh, you're coming back now? Later, dude! Alright. Alright, so now let's proceed knocking him out. Now, you can knock these guys out without a trap, and I I actually prefer to do that because it's really exciting, but it's also extremely dangerous. So, um, when it comes down to Moses, I would just recommend just do it like this. It's so much easier, so much more simple, and then it just gets the job done. But also, these guys, they can take a ton of trank um, darts. If I haven't mentioned yet that they can hold their tranks, then you absolutely need to be made aware. They can totally hold their tranks. You see, look at that. He's just dying to be let free. If he uh, gets let free, I am toast. Alright. Pay attention to my surroundings a little bit more. Alright. Alright, let's... Now, I'm using a really, really beefy crossbow, and I would recommend that if you're doing this, you could... Oh, he's already out. Okay. All right, so use a beefy crossbow, and that's actually why he was... I mean, he's low level, and... And I'm using, a like, a, a almost a 500 damage uh, um, percent long um, crossbow, so... Make sure that you use a good crossbow. All right, so let's just throw... I don't think he's going to take that many. So let's just throw this in there. And get like this. And then I'll, we'll bring you guys back. Also, just like a Giga, you want to make sure that you pay very close attention to his torpor. Because his torpor is going to be going down fast. Which is another reason that if you uh, have a Basilosaurus that you're doing this with... Yeah, make sure you hold on to that uh, um, biotoxin. You're going to need it. All right, but like a Giga, it's not nearly as bad as a Giga, but like a Giga, you want to make sure that you put um, the uh, biotoxin or narcotics, whichever you're using, whichever um, poison you prefer, and then you put it in, let his torpor get way, way down, and then give him enough to just top him off. Because that way there, his torpor goes up a lot slower than it goes down. So if it, And if it's not going down, it's going up. If it's not going up, it's going down. So, you're pretty much just letting him burn out all that torpor as fast as he normally can. And then you're using the speed of the biotoxin to uh, um, get that torpor up. So, instead of having to keep him topped off all the time, you know, a little bit. He loses a little bit and then he gains a little bit. Yeah. You're uh, um, oh, just letting him just burn through a bunch and then ha taking a long time to get that torpor back up. So I'm going to let him get down to about 3,000 torpor, way, way down below that U, and then I'm just going to give him all that um, biotoxin, or maybe a, a stack of 100. I mean, he's low level. If he was a max level one, I would definitely give him a 300 uh, biotoxin and then just call it a day. All right, so you guys admit... All right, this guy's actually taming up pretty fast. So what I here, I'm going to show you guys this. All right, see this right here? His torpor is going, and this, I'm going to actually demonstrate what I'm talking about. See, his torpor is going down wicked, wicked fast. I mean, like, probably 50 a second. All right, so, no, notice this. We're going to give him 100 biotoxin right now. Now his torpor is only going up by about 4 to 8 points per second. It's a lot slower than going down at 50. But he's going to be gaining all that torpor from the 100 biotoxin. So now he's going to be unconscious for a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to be unconscious for just a little bit. Yeah, I think we just gave him a whole huge dose of tranquilizer. He'll be good. All right, and this guy's up. And it wasn't that long of a tame, but it was pretty, um, pretty long. All right. Um, for the higher level ones, these guys right here will just take so much time. All right, let me see. Can I actually get in here? Right. Get inside my cryopot. All right, fine. The downside with Moses, they always go in a zigzag pattern. All right, so now that we've got that guy, let's get back up to the surface and let's go take a look at a few things because these guys actually have a bunch of cool stuff and I want to make sure this door is open for next time I feel like trapping a Mosa. Always reset your trap. And this trap right here, 
We can keep that one going for a long time if we um, if we so want. Because you can actually take and you can drag Moses clear across the map if you have a beefy enough uh, um, dinosaur. I'd recommend doing it with a Basilo. Um, or you can actually get a Tuso, pick up the Mosa, and just drop it inside the trap. It works too. Um, I would recommend just using a Basilo source. It's so much easier. Um, it just makes sure that they can take a hit before you uh, start dragging one from clear across the map. But yeah, you can drag a Mosa from just about anywhere you want to. All right, let's give it up here. Right, now within the safety confines of our uh, underwater pen, we can just throw this guy out and just kind of just take a look at him and go, ooh, I mean, because this guy is big. Moses, they are not small little dudes. But they, oh, oh my gosh, these guys, they will pack a wallet. They pretty much are the gigas of the sea. All right, so notice this guy, he's only level 59, but he's already got 8,000 hit points. He's already got 170 melee damage. He's already got 680 stamina. These guys are beefy. Max level ones, oh man, you can get them 40, 50k um, leveled up in hit points. It is really, really good. All right, now the saddles to make these guys, they're not low level, all right? But um, it's level 78 for the um, for the beginner variety. It's level um, 93 for the intermediate platform, and it's uh, level I beat all the bosses for uh, the tech um, saddle. All right, so uh, 78 on this one. It does require a lot for the uh, saddle. It's uh, probably one of the more expensive saddles. So it's 140 cementic paste, 600 fiber, 800 hide, 400 metal ingots, 100 silica pearls. Yeah, it's, it's, that, that one's up there. The next one is 180 cementing paste, 720 fiber, 960 hide, 1,200 metal ingots, 320 silica pearls. That one's a bit more expensive. And then we get up to the tech one, which is 140 um, black pearls, 370 crystal, 55 element, 2,500 metal ingots, and 500 polymer. That one is expensive, but very, very worth it. Oh my gosh. Uh, tech saddle, tech Mosa saddles are actually pretty fun. Just like tech uh, uh, shark saddles, tech uh, tapajara, tech rex, all of those tech saddles, they're wicked fun. I'm not gonna be messing around with one of those today because frankly, I don't think I have that many metal ingots right now, but yeah. All right, but we are gonna be messing around with these two because there are a couple different things that you can do with these two saddles. All right, actually, I'm probably just gonna craft this one because everything you can do on this one, you can do on this one. So I think I'm just gonna cut to the chase and do um, craft this one. But just know that this Mosa saddle, you cannot build on. This platform saddle, you can build on it, which is really, really cool. All right, let's go get that crafted and I'll be right back. All right, let's get back to our Mosa. And, uh, okay, so now with these saddles right here, yeah, they do cost a lot, but once you have a, um, a platform saddle on one of these dudes, oh, man, it does a whole ton of cool stuff. All right, here, let's take a look at it. Actually, let's go up to the surface here. Because you can build, like, small little uh, bases on these guys. You can put uh, all sorts of, you can put cannons on these guys. You can put uh, ballistas on these guys. You can put catapults on these guys. That it's really kind of you know just up to your imagination what all you can put on these guys. Plus, also, I mean, it, granted, it's not as big as it's not as much uh, as the turtle, but it is quite a bit of uh, what you can put on these things. It's pretty impressive. So just use your imagination when it comes to these dudes. All right. So now, when uh, going out here, just make sure that uh, when you're attacking things with a mosa, that. Uh, their conal attack is actually pretty good, and then you can even, unlike some of the other underwater dinos that just have like a frontal cone, you can actually kind of aim it a little bit because his head turns. So, yeah, unlike some of the other underwater tapes. Let's get this guy some food. There we go. All right, and they're also pretty dang fast. I mean, look at this. We're going, we're going wicked fast here. Moses, they're, they're speedy little dudes, which is great. And, I mean, when it comes to their hit points, yeah, they're tanks. Big time tanks. Not just little time tanks, big time tanks. Yeah. All right, so uh, there's a couple different uses you can use these guys. Um, because you can use these guys to uh, clear out some caves. You can use these guys to... 
the snide area are coming a little close. All right, uh, you can use them to uh, go do the underwater caves. You can just cruise out here, get the red drops with these guys. Uh, you can use them to attack your buddy's bases. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you can use them for all sorts of different things. But uh, if you're going to use it for a tank, I would recommend just uh, pumping uh, stamina and health. Um, maybe with a little bit of weight. All depends because... While the uh, structures you put on their back don't have weight, the things you put in the structures do have weight. So if you use them for a base, make sure you get that weight skill a uh, little bit pumped in there. If you're going to use them as a tank clearer, just uh, go with, um, I would say out of every five levels, probably three in health, one in stamina, one in uh, damage. Because these guys, while they're... Um, Oh, they do, uh, are able to, uh, take a hit. Their melee damage, um, pretty much, it's one of the only dinos in the game. Say, uh, let's see, here, hold on. Here, let me show you. If their damage says 160, that's how much damage they're gonna do, is 160. Alright, there's some that are mate boosted and stuff like that. Things with damage reduction tend to throw it off, but see that right there? This guy's doing 160 to that. And everything else has got mate boost and stuff like that. Yeah, it's throwing it for a little loop. Let's swivel back around. Uh-oh, got donkeys. No, we got donkeys. I'm out of here. I don't feel like messing around with donkeys if I had a max level one. I would be like, yeah, donkeys, bring it on, but no. All right, so hey, that's pretty much it when it comes to the Mosa. There is so much you can do with the Mosa, especially with the platform saddle. Uh, the tech saddle even increases what you can do, which is really, really cool. All right, so hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you tame your first Mosa. Just remember, they're, they're pretty intimidating, but after you tame your first one, it's not nearly as much so afterwards. Um, it's just... You have to get yourself a good trap or just uh, get really comfortable with going out into the wild uh, and taming one like that. If you're going to tame one in the wild, refer back to my Pleasy video where I covered uh, how to uh, work the uh, the underwater, um, oh, the threshold where they have. They'll go down below um, the threshold. They'll aggro on you. You shoot them. They'll come up and then they'll de-aggro. I covered the whole thing in the Plessy video. Um, so yeah, all right. Hey, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo taking off my flippers so I can actually run and then putting them right back on so I can swim. And take it easy, everybody.